April is Child Abuse Awareness Month. In Wicomico County alone, there are over 500 cases of child abuse reported each year. Salisbury's Life Crisis Center and Children's Advocacy Center have stepped in to offer therapeutic and legal aid to children and their families who have experienced abuse. I spoke with Legal Director Abigail Marsh to learn more about Life Crisis Center and its programs. And Life Crisis Center's mission is to improve the quality of life in our community through crisis intervention and violence prevention. Life Crisis not only offers technical methods of therapy, but also incorporates art and play therapy into their programs. Counselor Farah Van Gendren spoke with me about their use of these therapy methods as interactive and observational tools. And so we have a play therapy room that's set up um, at Life Crisis Center. We also have play therapy items that are in the other centers. We use a lot of art therapy as well. They may set up a dollhouse and act out sort of what they're seeing. We have two dollhouses in our playroom so that they can sort of go back into those settings. And so what would you do? How would you react? Um, and helping them to sort of know kind of that it's safe to talk about and helping them to put some words to it. After discovering a family member was a survivor of child sexual abuse, local resident Courtney Geyser used the Crisis Center's programs to aid in her family's recovery process. From the police report to then all of a sudden there's these therapists, these wonderful people at Life Crisis that are right there. You don't have to figure it out, they're figuring it out for you. After this experience, Geyser decided she wanted to do more for the community, so she teamed up with Life Crisis to create the Pinwheels for Protection campaign. I want to let people know what we have out there. I want people to, to start talking about it and educate themselves and their kids and get people involved. If we can help one other family, then we've done something. During the month of April, there are a variety of events put on in the community to help bring awareness, education, and start a conversation between parents and their children. By the end of the month, you can see these blue pinwheels harvested all over town. Geyser and Life Crisis decided to use the pinwheel as the symbol for this campaign because it is nationally recognized as the symbol for child abuse. It's a symbol of childhood, of bright futures and um, happy days. And that's what's lost for children who are victims of child abuse. They lose their childhood. Life Crisis Center, through its therapeutic services, is trying to give children back their childhood or at least help them on the road to being survivors and not victims. Geyser says this experience has changed her life and the Pinwheels for Protection campaign is her way of shedding light on this growing epidemic as well as showing people what services are available if they need help. This is why. This is why this happened to us because we can make a difference and we are going to make a difference and so as much as at the time think why would God do this, there's a reason and this is the reason. Mayor Jake Day even proclaimed April 11th as Pinwheel Protection Day. With Life Crisis Center's resources and Geyser's passion, they're breaking the silence one pinwheel at a time. In Salisbury, I'm Megan Bryant reporting.